Welcome to the Twisted Tentacle Inn. I'm your innkeeper, Vase Odin, and today we'll be talking about Haunted. This is the first episode in a new series about basic weaknesses. My plan is not to discuss the weaknesses and analyze their game mechanics or anything of the sort, although I may mention them here and there, but mostly the role-playing aspect and how it can enhance your gameplay by really sitting down for a moment and thinking about what the weakness means about your particular investigator. I feel that the Arkham Horror of the Card Game story elements are very deep and engaging and can greatly enhance gameplay. So my goal with this channel and also specifically this series is to do just that by taking a simple card that may come out during gameplay and seeing how it can enhance your idea as to what's happening with your investigator. In today's episode, we'll be talking about Haunted, a basic weakness from the core set. Once it's revealed, it gives you a static minus one to each of your skills, and it takes two actions to discard it. A very simple weakness that can be devastating to certain investigators, specifically Lola and Jenny. You may not see this card, as with most cards and basic weaknesses, the first few scenarios of a campaign. After all, you don't go through your entire deck every single scenario, but when it does come out, it can open a world of possibilities as to what is happening with your investigator at that moment. So what is haunted? The Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines haunted as a place frequented by a ghost. It also defines it as having or showing signs of mental anguish. With these definitions, we can further understand the implications of having this card in our investigator deck. Let's look at some examples. Say you're playing Finn Edwards. You know that when he was young, he watched the simultaneous birth and death of his sister. She was deformed and monstrous, adding to the horror of her birth and immediate death. While investigating, you may have killed some monstrous creature with Finn, only to pull the card haunted during the upkeep phase. You could just take the mechanical penalty, or you can take a moment to determine what this means in your story. Killing the monstrosity may have brought back memories of Finn's sister, causing him to be haunted by the memories of her deformity and her tragic death. This has now caused Finn to be debilitated and lose some of his motivation during his investigation. Or maybe you're playing Agnes. You're doing great, having dished out some damage after pulling a skull while using shriveling. Then you go to draw a card and Haunted comes out. It could be that messing around with the arcane secrets of the mythos has brought back the spirit of a long lost relative, a witch, who now haunts every location you go to, terrorizing Agnes and causing her to lose her concentration on her investigation. But this doesn't have to be limited to the background story of your individual investigator. After all, the story you're part of during your game is shaped by your decisions and actions. For example, say your investigator decided to burn a house or a certain mansion down. Maybe you didn't know there were people inside, or maybe you did know, and did it anyway to stop further evil from spreading. Two scenarios later, Haunted comes out. Could it be the spirits of the dead coming back for revenge? Or maybe you start to doubt your conviction about the evil that you burned and wonder if you killed innocents. The guilt and consequences of your deeds may begin to haunt you, causing you to doubt every decision that you make. Or perhaps a wild and monstrous experiment is unleashed upon a certain unsuspecting university campus, savagely killing the students that happen to be living in the dormitories. The memory of the carnage caused by your inability to stop the experiment may haunt you later, or maybe the spirits of the students have come back to cause you anguish for what you have done. The possibilities are endless. Basic weakness cards are a unique mechanic of Arkham, and I personally love them. They're a great way to connect your investigator to the story and develop unique tales and events during your investigations. The haunted weakness can tie your investigators into a cohesive story and multiplayer and flesh out your investigator's personality and motivations in single player. Either way, Haunted can help your game become even more engaging. I hope I have been successful in convincing you. Please let me know in the comments down there if you like or dislike this content, and I'll talk to you all real soon.